the studio had one note, and it came like just I think like a week before the we started shooting. Yeah, very early on, they were concerned as they looked at tests. We did tests of, of how we were going to shoot the scooter stuff, and they looked at some of these film tests, and they became concerned that the boy wasn't wearing a helmet, and what kind of statement would this send, and would there be a big parent pro helmet pro helmet lobby. lobby that didn't want any depictions and of truthfully, children we didn't riding with without helmets we didn't um, argue with them about anything except every day we would argue about the helmet and we're like we refuse to put this kid in a helmet uh, but w and we'd already shot a fair amount of material before this really came to head just out of refusing uh, finally in, in certain instances we acquiesced and, and did said we and will we will put him in a helmet we'll shoot it both ways we'll shoot it both ways and we'll cover ourselves and we'll and if you get that helmet lobby that comes out and uh because i think the studio also said when they saw the footage they were like why didn't you have him button the, yes. the we helmet. refused for him to actually put the helmet strap on that was our uh, you know continued it looks like something out of world war ii uh it does <laughs> it, not, it, it it looks particularly unsafe if you're going to wear a helmet you should definitely fast it that's our, that's sure our that was to, our to everyone who watches yes nonetheless he looks quite like a dork <laughs> not like a romantic lead and you don't want a dork anyway it, it never like came up it literally never came up again once and let me say this saw a cut of the film wear your helmet kids yes definitely it's at important all times. to wear your helmet although we did do extensive we did a lot of looking around new york and kids his age were not wearing helmets they weren't so we we aired on the side of truth